In this video, you are going to learn two best ways to help you create good background designs for your flyers and posters. Hello guys, designing flyer backgrounds or poster backgrounds has been my headache since day one. At first, I used to make research on how to create good backgrounds because that is actually the foundation of every poster or flyer you see out there. But I don't kind of find the right, I mean the suitable tutorial, I mean the right PDF or something that gives more highlights or throws more highlights on creating a background. But in my own findings, okay, I made my research and I am good with these two background creating methods which I'm about to share with you and I have testified it most of my friends have testified it and actually get good comments on my flyers when I use them without wasting much time I am going to share them with you getting good but suitable background images for flyer designing is actually one factor most people omit in their designing process which is also a problem and since this video is not for how to find good background images I'll reserve that for a future video so without wasting much time let's jump right into the reason we are all here hello guys please before we start I would want you to know that this methods I'm about to share with you are my own findings and actually they are terms used by myself which um, are simple and easy to address anytime um, you are in need of okay so i would want to share this with you from my knowledge okay okay guys so the first step i am going to be sharing with you today is called the plain background method this method is very simple and very applicable in any field you find yourself designing at okay so what do we mean by plain background in the first place it is my own term and i am going to break it down into the simplest pieces for you guys to understand and I will add a clip of my tutorial and it is going to be so easy to understand okay so please pay rapt attention as you listen to this method okay guys so plain background method when we say plain background it is a kind of background with a plain color and this color is not strong it is very plain and also so light in complexion this background method sometimes comes with little or no details at all. We mostly see them on flyers with white backgrounds and sometimes with details which are very tiny or most times with no details to show. They are just looking plain and simple to the eyes. So guys, to be able to use this method, I am going to show you a simple technique to apply when you are using this method okay it's so simple so please pay attention this method comes with a good color combination which you have to be very decorative in your selection of colors so it is so plain that you have to be very selective in your colors okay so the technique i am going to show you is to always be very stylish in selecting your colors for the text okay anytime you are designing with this method you have to be very stylish in selecting colors for the text okay because it is the only part which makes it very attractive it actually makes your entire flyer or poster very attractive so you should always make sure to make your text very attractive with colors not only for the text but for the shapes that you are using in the flyer or poster because it is actually going to make it look bright and very very attractive to the eyes okay so this is one key you should note and I am going to show you a clip of me designing with such a method and for you to just observe and learn something out of it so let's watch the clip in the next video like right now okay guys let's go okay guys so this is it control plus zero to zoom to fit to page like this from here i'll go to file and locate place embedded click on it and here i'm going to bring in this silver silk texture i'll just click on it and place it on the page for me all i'm going to do is to enlarge it from the top node to the top of the page like this and from the bottom i'll just enlarge it so that it fits to page like this all right guys so from here all i'll do is to make a blur of it so i'll just go to filter and go to blur 
and go to Gaussian blur. So I'm going to blur about some pixels. So about 12 pixels is okay. And this is what we are having. It is too deep. So all I'm going to do is to reduce it. And yeah. So here in the opacity, we are going to reduce it to 40% just to get it like this on the page. All right, guys. So from here, we are going to just create a layer mask of it and just take our brush to. So guys, the video you just watched was a clip of me designing with a plain background method. And if you looked closely, you can see that I only used one color, which was a plain color and very light, which was white. Okay. And the only detail you can see in the background color was the texture I added. It was something like a paper fold texture. And sometimes you can see this texture in most of the designs or sometimes you can see none of them because um it is so plain okay and you can either choose to add those type of textures but must fit to the background color or you can choose not to add it at all all depends on you though but you just have to be very the creative with the colors on the text and the shapes in the flyer okay so when you are designing never get stuck at points like that okay make sure to be very decorative and this background designing method is actually recommended when your client tells you hey designer i need a simple and a clean flyer for my project okay so anytime your designer tells you this make sure to choose wisely with the designing of the background method okay guys so i hope this helped let's jump right into the last method which is the second method okay so guys this last method i'm about to share with you is very common with me and my designing process so with those of you that do not know what i do here on this channel i mostly post tutorials on flyers and posters and if you don't know kindly check with this video that will pop up on the cards up there and it will help you go straight into the tutorial i am talking of with this particular last method i am about to talk about okay guys let's jump right into it and the last step i'm about to share with you is the blending background method so guys this method is very special and not complying with the plain background method so please pay rapt attention with this one the blending background method has to do with the combination of colors and images and they mostly come out with strong and deep colors very deep colors in this method the images are mostly fused into the background colors and you can only fuse an image or images into the background colors by using the blend modes and the blend modes are with options that can help you blend every image into the background colors okay guys just so you know i have a video card that will pop up up there which will lead you to a video that i made so practical and it's having it um, images used in the description which will help you okay design along while i design okay it's, it is a tutorial and i made it directly for the blending background method so this video you are going to watch up there is going to help you design using the blending background method and one advantage of this blending background method is that you don't have to stress yourself so much with the decoration of the text and shapes with colors because the background itself comes with such deep colors that is capable of making every text and shapes pop out nice and clearly in their simplest lightest colors it could be a color on the shape or text but then they'll pop out really nice they'll pop out really nice and they are mostly uh, likely to pop out in white colors which is also a plain color or a light color this background method is already with strong and deep colors and by so doing it allows you to freely add text with simple colors and also helps pop it out clearly and nicely neatly lovely and everythingly like so cute and practically in the next video i am going to show you a clip of me using the blended background method for 
clarification okay just so that you feed your eyes with something okay guys all right so let's jump right into it hey you are back again so please if you are new here to the channel feel free to subscribe during any point where you find this video helpful and if you are old here i salute you welcome back so we are going to start by creating our work page for our design so before you start designing a church flyer you first have to know the method you want to go with this is going to do a great job in influencing your selection of images for the background but here in this course we are going with the solid background method it is where you blend one or two or more images in a solid color all we are going to do from here is to add our solid color from here i'm going to import in this background image okay i hit done because we're actually done so please the focus of this particular image is on the two pillars not the penguin right here so this is what we're going to do is to go to filter blur and just go to gaussian blur we're going to blur it out like that okay um at some amount of pixels where we can still see the focus which is our pillars all right guys so we are going to put it on eight pixels and we are good to go from here all we are going to do is to put blend mode on color dot all right guys so this is what we want all right so all we are going to do from here is to brush off this um sharp edge right at the bottom on this particular image like this okay so we are going to do this by selecting to bring in this auditorium so this image like that so i'm going to place it onto the page like this so all i'm going to do is to enlarge it okay so i'm going to enlarge it but with the enlargement please note let me move it to the top a bit please note that um the focus is actually on the stage and the heads of the people or the members okay so please um there is a a light ray right here like this with this light rays um we need we need it on this image so i'm going to move it to the corner here like this with that on our with that as our focus all right guys so that is it so i'm going to hit done because we're actually done from here all i'm going to do is to put blend mode on hard light just to get it harsh like this on the page all right guys we do not want all this light and sharp edges on our page so all i'm going to do so this is what we actually want on the page and we have gotten it Hey guys, designing with these two methods have brought me nothing but great results and also good comments from my viewers and also my followers on social media and also most of my friends, my clients are also giving me good remarks on them. So, I know and believe that if you apply these same methods in your flyer designs, you are going to come out to be very unique in this industry. I love you all. This is Simplicity K the Boat and I hope this video helped you. And if it did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell icon so as to be a part of my family here on YouTube so that you don't miss any of my future videos like this. Okay. I am Simplicity. I love you all. Mm. Mwah. Okay, guys. See you next time in my next tutorial and see you next time in my future video like this bye bye